The puzzle of what could stop Islam Makachev's dominance in the UFC lightweight class is trying to be uncovered by former fighter, Ben Askren. The man from the United States firmly claimed that overthrowing the king from the throne was not an easy matter. He even felt that no other lightweight fighter could do it. Even so, Makachev's dominance still has an expiration date. It was only a matter of time before the Russian champion would meet his defeat. So far, Khabib Nurmagomedov's colleague has collected 13 consecutive wins. Most recently he was able to defeat the featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. This victory made Makachev start looking for an opportunity to move up to welterweight. I dare say there isn't, said Askarin. Time is invincible, right? Sooner or later, he will lose if he continues fighting. The question then is, will he continue to fight? Or maybe he did what Khabib did, retire early, he continued. Even though he is still 32 years old, Askarin believes that Makachev still has a long way to go. It is believed that the champion can still develop in line with the battles he has gone through. Even so, everyone has a limit called, time. If he continues to fight, the consequence that Makachev will have to accept is defeat. He is still 32 years old, he explained. You know, the position may no longer be at the top but that doesn't mean it has stopped growing. So, what will be interesting is to see whether he can retire without losing or not. Because if he doesn't retire, then he will lose in the end, added Askarin. Currently the dual schedule for Makachev has not yet been made official. A rematch against Charles Oliveira is one option that is wide open for him. However, he seems more interested in fighting opponents he has never faced, such as Justin Gaethje.